it's hard to really piece together my kindergarten first and second year. I remember it was this time right after my parents divorced pretty soon. Um, that my mom lived in an apartment complex. I remember, <clears throat> I don't remember why, I'm sure I was annoying, but some older kids picked me up and threw me in the middle of the pool and I, I couldn't swim and I started drowning. And I don't know who jumped in and got me. <laughs> but uh, I don't even think my mom was there until after the fact, but somebody jumped in and got me. And I remember my mom being just pissed and then crying. All my memories of these years were really of my mom crying and what I was doing wrong. Um, that same complex, I remember having a birthday party there. They invited my whole class. They came over into the, like, the little house that you can rent. And I remember we trashed the place. She had all these fun activities, but I remember it just being trashed. And I remember... I think I was blamed for it a little bit. I remember my mom crying because she put a huge deposit down on this and I think she lost it. Um, because of just of how... How wrecked we... <laughs> we, uh, we made it, right? That was the time I busted my chin open by driving a bike into a wall. <laughs> and I think I had the... I remember calling 911 a couple times, making them come out for fun. My mom crying over that. I remember... <clears throat> My mom getting really mad at me because she told us not to go into her closet and I went and looked anyways and I saw a lot of Christmas toys. I remember a truck that I was getting that was in there and I think she cried af after that too. <laughs> um, kindergarten. I remember playing with toys there, but not much. I do remember that my mom was sad and she would cry because she would work really hard to make money and she would send us off. We couldn't afford, you know, hot lunches. She'd send us with little brown paper bags. But I remember never wanting to eat it. You know, everybody always had better stuff, Lunchables or whatever. And what I would do, and I don't know if my mom remembered this, but I got away with going through the line and just telling them I had no money and they would give me hot lunch. So I would start doing that every day when I was in kindergarten to get them to give me the hot lunch. There's a story later on, but I don't know if she found out about that. She might have. I think they called her on this. Because they started, you know, they keep track of it. And they called my mom and <laughs> I think she started crying. Because <laughs> I know how hard it was. Because I don't think my dad was paying child support to her. Or not very regularly. And she she had to make these little scrunchy things for your hair to sell those to people at work. Just to make, make ends meet or whatever. Um... I remember going from, in my mind, going from kindergarten to first grade, I remember uh, thinking that it was just the next one over, that everything was sequential. I didn't understand that you had to go to a different room in the place. So I, they thought I was just a new kid for a few days, so I went to kindergarten again, just the next room over, until they realized that I wasn't supposed to be there. Um, <laughs> I finally got put into the class, and... I remember just being super embarrassed that I didn't know that. I didn't know which class I was supposed to go to. I remember being so embarrassed. And it was such a big transition between kindergarten and first. You actually had to do stuff, and that was hard for me. I remember my mom crying because I cut my own hair. I remember that story. A lot of people have that story. But it didn't look good. She had to shave off my hair and I had these tracks going everywhere. 
I remember being so scared to go to school. I didn't want to go to school for like two days because I was afraid of what they'd make fun of me, you know? I think the middle of my first grade, we moved. She moved into a house. She was she dated a few men, I remember. I remember a couple men she dated. One of them I really liked, but it didn't work out until she dated my stepdad who lived in Houston. But I think this was around second grade. I remember changing schools. And, uh... I don't remember much about that house, really. I remember we found a, a Dotson, like, dog. A brown one. We didn't know who he belonged to. I tried to feed it. I put cabbage in water, gave it to him with salt and pepper. Didn't seem to like that. That was a memory from there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember the new kids on the block music and MC Hammer during this time as a kid. Those were really big during these years. And about this time, my mom met my stepdad. And my dad met my first stepmom. And I don't know if it was a competition or what, but they both seemed to get married around the same time. I don't remember. My stepmom had a boy and a girl that became my stepbrother and sister for a while. For a year or two. I don't really I don't really know how long they were married. But um didn't didn't last too long. I think the stories were mixed with my stepmom. The story was is that she was a gold digger. Another story was is that she got divorced from my dad because he was an alcoholic. I didn't hear the alcoholic one until high school year. And people talked. People knew each other. Oh my gosh. This was the stepmom that married the dad of our who was a quarterback in high school for my sophomore year. So I heard about this in like my sophomore year of high school that my dad was an alcoholic. And I had suspicions. I didn't know. I thought he I, I think I knew he drank, but I didn't think that I didn't know everything that was entitled with that. I lived with him for three years by myself and I just was alone most of the time, so I didn't I never saw him drink. So I didn't know that was true. I used to think that was not true, right? Anyways, back to these years. My mom was in this house for just a short little bit. She kept the house, but she moved down and married my stepdad. And we moved with her, me and my two brothers. And um, so I moved down there, I think, end of second grade or beginning of third. I think that's right. We, were, we weren't there for very long before we moved to Louisiana, but second and third grade we were down there in. Um, I don't know. I just remember doing visits for with my dad, and we'd have to drive between Houston and Dallas. And it was a four-hour trip, you know, sitting in the car for that whole time. Uh, we'd meet in, like, Buffalo, Texas or something like that. There was a good barbecue place, Bubba's Barbecue or something like that. I remember that from my childhood. But we would do that for that whole year. And we'd come back and we'd spend the weekend with my new stepmom and the new kids. It was during my... So I must have been seven or eight about this time. It was during these years that... Um, anyway, I'll share that. That's when my dad hit me to where I was like so bloodied up and stuff. Yeah. Next story. Yeah. So yeah, that was a transition. I mean, I don't know if that's exciting or anything. That's just kind of what happened. I just remember all my memories of my childhood were making my mom cry. I don't remember her being happy. I just remember making her cry or being embarrassed in class. I remember my first bee sting when I was in kindergarten. I don't know why I tried to pick up a bee, but that was a stupid idea. I thought it was dead. That didn't work out so well. I think that's it. I think that's all I can remember.
early 90s.